Greetings, this is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. This is going to be, I'm hoping to be a short Bible study on the New Testament originally being written in Aramaic. Now, Aramaic is supposedly the original language of the New Testament, and then they supposedly translated it into Greek. But I hope to put the nail in the coffin for this heresy, as I consider it. You see, when they tell you this, there are no original Aramaic manuscripts, and yet there are over 5,000 pieces or of Greek manuscripts in what is called the majority text or the Textus Receptus. Of course, people will lie to you and tell you that, oh, no, 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 that's not true. The majority text is not the Textus Receptus, but, but they know they're lying. But the problem is, it used to be that they would say, well, you know, the King James, not just the King James, but all the Bibles, that they will claim that they have errors. And there's a guy running around by the name of Dr. James White, who I consider him a heretic and a liar, an agent of Satan. That's my opinion. But uh, he'll run around saying, well, yeah, the Bibles have errors, all of them. But we know what there are, so we can correct them. And then what he'll do is he'll refer to what they call the original Greek, okay? But there are no original Greek manuscripts. I mean, you don't have the original letters that Paul wrote to Timothy, that Paul wrote to Titus, that Paul wrote to Rome, that Paul wrote to Col uh, Colossian, the Colossian people, Colossae, city of, or Ephesus, the Ephesians, or the uh, Corinth, the Corinthians, they don't exist. It's just they're copies of copies. And you have to believe that people under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit um, copied them correctly. And the majority text that matches. Now, the thing is, when people like Dr. James White are running around saying, well, you know, the original Greek or the older manuscripts, what he's really telling you is the Vatican controlled, you know, the Catholics, the popes, their manuscripts. And one of the, um, they have one thing called the Vaticanus, V-A-T-I-C-A-N-U-S. It's into the Vatican's control. Very, very few people have been allowed to even look at it. You're going to trust something hidden in a Vatican's vault that they don't... You know, the Vatican, the, the Catholics, the Pope and all those people, they were the ones that burned Christians at the stake with their own Bibles. People like William Tyndale. I mean, guy was a, an Englishman who wanted to translate the... Bible, the New Testament, into English. And when they caught him, they burned him at the stake. How dare he do that, they said. I mean, after all, uh, they were doing all kinds of unbiblical things, things against the Bible, and they didn't want the common people to leave their superstition and traditions that the Catholic Church, the, the popish, papish traditions that they heaped upon them that were unbiblical, they didn't want them leaving those. So when they caught you with a Bible, they killed you. You trust these people to tell you what the Bible says? I don't. You know, I believe it was William Tyndale said that, um, basically I'm paraphrasing, if it's up to me, I will soon have a plowboy in the field know more about the Bible than the Pope. 
and he he was responsible for uh, a lot of the New Testament of the King James Bibles. And I will admit the Catholic Bible, pre uh, the Douay Reims, predates the King James, but only because the John Calvin and a bunch of other people in Switzerland translated the New Testament and maybe the Old Testament too, I'm not sure. It's been a while since I've studied this. But they translated the, uh, at least the Old Testament, I mean New Testament, into, um, into, I believe, English, the common language. And they called it the Geneva Bible because it was made in Geneva, Switzerland. And then when the Pope figured out, oh, wait a minute, people are going to start reading the Geneva Bible, well, then that's when they came out with the... Uh, the uh, Douay Reims, the Catholic version. But do you know the Catholic manuscripts don't even have the entire book of Revelation? So when they start talking about the older and better manuscripts, and they're what they're really trying to tell you is, let's go back to the Catholic manuscripts, it doesn't even have the book of Revelation in there. But yet they put the book of Revelation in their, in their Bible, and where did they get it from? The majority texts of the Greek. Hmm. So they used the the Protestant inspired manuscripts for the Catholic Book of Revelation. Think about that. Okay, and then you got Dr. James White. He did a interview with uh, Stephen Anderson and he either doesn't know how to pronounce English words or he's mispronouncing them on purpose. You can look at the interview. Um, Stephen Anderson. You look up Stephen, Ander Stephen Anderson and James White. It'll pop up on YouTube. He does an interview. Um, A-D-O. That word is ado. Perhaps you've heard of the, the, I think it was a Shakespearean play, Shakespeare a play called Much Ado About Nothing, A-D-O, Ado. Well, James White either doesn't know how to pronounce the word, he said Ado, or he mispronounces it on purpose. I don't know. And this is the guy that corrects, supposedly, the mistranslations of words in the Bible. And, I mean, it totally changes the meanings. I mean, let's face it, people. If I borrowed some money from you, and I said, well, I am going to pay you back. One word totally changes the meaning. I am not going to pay you back. One word, not, totally takes the meaning of the sentence and turns it around 180 degrees. I am not going to pay you back that money I borrowed. Well, guess what? Same thing in the Bible. You know, was Jesus born of a virgin? Or is Jesus born of a young woman? Now, what kind of a miracle is that? Jesus being born of a young woman. It's not a, it's not a miracle. Now, the thing I really despise about that, who I consider a heretic, James White, is supposedly he's trying to give the gospel to the Muslims, right? So he'll debate the Muslims, and the Muslims will say, oh, well, we don't believe the Bible because it's mistranslated. And James White will say, well, yeah, you're right, it is mistranslated, and it's wrong, but we know where the errors are, and we can correct them. So, And people say, oh, yeah, James White is trying to give the gospel to the Muslims. No, he's not. He's agreeing with them. He says the Bible is full of errors. And he, in his great Bible knowledge, he knows more about the Bible than all the scholars that worked on the King James Bible and all the scholars that worked on the Geneva Bible. According to him, he's a legend in his own mind. Personally, I trust the King James translators. Those people were brilliant scholars in their day. But, uh, yeah, you should take a look at Stephen Anderson's and James White's interview. 
guy doesn't even know how to pronounce English, and, and you're going to trust him for the Greek? Really? Guy's an idiot, in my opinion. But he will. He'll go... The, the Muslims use his interviews to bash the Bible and say it's wrong. I mean, really, he does. So, you know, it's pretty sad when a so-called Bible scholar agrees with the Muslims that the Bible's mistranslated and it can't be trusted. And that's what they use, the Muslims use to say, well, you know, the Quran is perfect. And Muhammad was a, 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 a later prophet rather than Jesus. You know, Jesus was, oh yeah, he was a prophet. The Muslims admit Jesus was a prophet. But they say his words were all destroyed. And then they refer you to the original Greek. Well, guess what? The people that do the saying that the King James, well, I mean, the Bibles were originally, the New Testament was originally in Aramaic and then translated into Greek. Well, they do the same thing as the, the, the original Greek people do, but just with a twist. 